My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. Yeah, so today we are discussing how to achieve one kg of body weight on fishes using 500 juveniles. Yes, I have done some videos in the past where I did with 100, I did with a thousand, but I discovered, you know, for some reasons, People still don't get it. They want me to do all the figures. There's no way I can do all figures. So I have decided, let me do 500. After 500, maybe I will do another set, maybe like 2,000, 1,5. You know, it's something like that. It'll be going up and up. So, and like I said, this time around, we are going to put a caveat here. The caveat here is to achieve 1 kg, you know, in three and a half months, maximum four months. So if you do all what I want to tell you in this video today, you are going to achieve this. And if you don't achieve this, then let me know so that I will know what has happened that made you not to achieve this. Kindly listen very, very well. And please don't forget to like and share our videos. It helps us in our ratings and everything. And don't forget, we're not forming any WhatsApp group whatsoever. We don't have any closed group. So all we do, we do it here for you to understand. So I'll be right back to discuss this. Welcome back. So like I said, what we're discussing today is how to achieve one kg weight on catfish in three and a half months using 500 fishes now for the purpose of this we are doing we are trying to understand using 500 juveniles that's what we are using here and like i said before please like and share this our videos um just tell your people to people to people to subscribe to our channel like I said, like, share our videos, comment in the comment section so that this our page will not be dull. <laughs> so, um, like I said, if you listen to me very careful, there's no way you won't achieve this. The only reason why people don't achieve this is one, people believe that the spacing I use here is wasting of space and they do their own, they will fail. Two, people believe that my feed recommendation is too high they use their own they fail now understand something what i'm telling you here i'm not telling you that we are contributing money to achieve it no you listen to me do it in your own pond not me you are not doing anything for me you are doing it in your own pond by your own self please this is just like a guide for you to do that so if you have any other question after this video kindly ask me in the comment section now, one, we are going to be using Clarias catfish because our target is three and a half, four months. We are using Clarias catfish, not hybrid. If you want to use hybrid, it's always good to do hybrid to do it for a longer period of time. The reason is that hybrid can grow to any size without eggs, but Clarias cannot. Clarias, before you know, they will have eggs. They can grow to any size, but they will have eggs, and we don't want that. So what we are discussing now is we are using Clarias and specifying all these things so that you don't make mistake. Now, we are not using fries. We are not using fingerlings. We are not using jumbo. So don't bother asking me that you want to use it. If you want to use it, that's your own problem. What I'm saying now is people that we want to use what I said, use juvenile. Okay. So after this, the next point is very critical what size of pond are we going to use now if you have one pond use one pond of 20 by 25 even if it's etin pond if it's a tapolin pond if it's a concrete pond now 20 by 25 is a big pond because 500 fishes is a big project anything more than 50 is a big project so don't think that 500 fishes is for people that are starting that's a lie when I get there, you understand the reason why. So now, if you are going to use the pond of 20 by 25, I said you can use one pond. But because the size is big, use two ponds. Break it down. Now, for me, I would prefer you use two ponds. Why? So that you can, you can sort the fish. 
when you sort the fish you actually help the fishes to pick up fast that's these ones that did not meet up in eating and remember if you are doing this your style of feeding should be spot feeding spot feeding look for the video on this particular channel where i i demonstrated spot feeding it's a position that you use a particular spot in feeding your fishes so they eat from one spot please kindly look for the video so that you understand exactly how to do spot feeding so use spot feeding but like i said we, we, if you can't use one pond because of the size and for you to be able to sort use two ponds now the first pond in these two ponds one should be 15 by 20 feet by four remember if you are using one pond it's 20 by 25 by 4 so your water level will be 3 3 feet high but if you're using pond one of the ponds should be 15 by 20 by 4 feet water level should be 3 3 feet high if you don't understand this kindly ask me then the second pond can be 15 by 10 by 4 water level 3 feet high please don't buy 3 feet high pond and you start asking me how you would do it because if you buy three feet high pond what happens is that your water level will be two feet you need to leave one foot so that when the fishes are spring boiling they won't fall outside you know so you give them that space that allowance to enable them because at night those fishes if they are active they will always spring ball so this is it don't try to ask me there's no magic it's, it's just i'm mean, like i said go and experiment this yourself for some reasons if um this particular calculations i'm giving you is too much for you kindly reduce the number you want to stock there is no shortcut so any shortcut you do you will not make it you will, it will fail and once you fail don't blame me if you use a shortcut the failure is that the fishes will not will grow they will grow but the result will not give you profit if this happens like i said please don't bother um, telling me that uh, because you did, uh, there's no because once you say that we know what happened so then in your feeding so we are doing like i said we are doing uh, 500 fishes so you are going to budget 54 bags of feed some people will always ask me please give us a rough estimate of how much we want to use to do 500 if you ask me for rough estimate initially it used to be around 520,000 but with the current rate of things in nigeria just budget six hundred thousand back um, now some people will say six hundred thousand so how much are we going to make from the fish look if you do all i am telling you now the least amount of money you will make from this fish will be 20 percent of your investment remember the english i said the least the least so you know I do, because sometimes i find it difficult when people start to misquote me so whenever you misquote me and I look at it, sometimes I may not answer you because I know that you just want to misquote me for no reason. Or you did not even watch the video, you just look at the heading of the video, you now have question to ask me. I may not be able to provide answer to such type of question. That's why I always say, try to watch these videos and then ask me question. Because already it's a free service and I don't know what else you want me to do. So uh, this thing I'm telling you is, is the kind of uh, thing I have seen over the years trying to help out and you know people ask you questions you'll be wondering these guys don't you know that this thing you are doing it for free you know so like I said you budget 54 bags of feed remember like I always say some people will ask me now they want to go and buy the whole feed please don't buy the whole feed if you have money for 54 bags of feed or for 40 bags of feed go to a main distributor in your area and deposit the money they will give you calculation of what the feed size is you can even pay for only particular size of feed so when you are buying a higher or a lower one they will just do plus and minus and tell you how much you have balance so please don't go and buy uh, 54 bags and go and stock it in your house it's not even good your fishes are supposed to be used uh, your feed is supposed to be used latest three months max is four months but i don't even advise you to keep your feet in four months three months check the uh, expiry date on each bag of feet make sure it's not more than three months so stop asking me uh, you want to stock it don't stock it go to that main distributor pay leave the money there and go so even if you don't finish it use it for another set it's still there for you so that's simple i don't like uh, all those type of questions it's not helping any one of us this is why people mislead people when you ask too much questions and you know something that you have explained and someone is still twatting the question to know what you will do people just give you just one answer just to push you away but i don't do that because i know because i know it's negative result 
So, like I said, you budget um, 54 bags of feed. That's what you budget. Now, you may want to find out which feed you're going to use. Okay, for this project, I still recommend what me I use. I start with foreign feed. Now, in Nigeria, we have many foreign feed. You have the scratching. You have the alakwa. You have the copens. Many of them. If I start naming them, we will not live here today. So, we have many of them. So, choose any one that you want. Start with them. If you are starting, start with one uh, 1.8 mm. Once you are sure that what you bought is Jumbo, buy 1.8 mm. So some people will ask me what is the correct size of Jumbo. Please, that depends on anybody selling to you. There is nothing like correct size. Because one, you cannot even measure all your fishes when they are counting it. So that's the reason why you have to rely on buying from a reliable source. So start with 1.8 mm. 1.8 mm. So in this 1.8 mm, you don't need to go and buy one uh, full bag of 1.8 mm. For, for me, I would advise you just buy 5 kg. So buy 5 kg. So when they finish 5 kg, because at first they won't be able to eat, this 5 kg can carry them one and a half or two weeks for 500. So if they finish it, then you now switch to 2 mm. So like me, what I do is I still maintain my foreign feed, like I've mentioned some foreign feed. I maintain it for two months so after two months i switch to local not produced by me please produced in nigeria so we have many of them we have blue crown it's a locally produced feed we have top feed it's a, a locally um produced feed we have eco float it's a locally produced feed then we have omega there are so many of them I don't want to start advertising for anybody, so I'm not going to put any picture. I've just told you there are so many of them, so you can actually go and make inquiry. In the olden times, like 10, 15 years ago, we only have Vital and others we are for it. But now we have others and Vital is still there. So anyone that is always available within your locality will work. Depending on the feed though, if you want, you can uh, ask me later in the comment section or send me a message, a direct message to ask me, give me the options in your area, I can just give you a suggestion. So, because I don't want to make any open advert for anybody. Yeah. So, for me, like I said, you know, after using the 5 kg, you still do foreign feed to two months. Then from that, you now switch to your local locally manufactured in nigeria not i don't do feed the more people that do it there are too many issues so i don't do it so that is what you now feed them on the sales please for your information if you want to do that that is what is in your mind you want to do your local don't come tomorrow and tell me that oh i did this and i did not achieve the result please what i'm saying now like i said from the beginning is this is what me i do and if you can be able to do this from three and a half months, bring out your fishes and scale them. And you're going to see one kg. By four months, you should have almost 90 something percent on, on one kg. Now, if you're using two ponds, when you stock these fishes at juvenile, so when they get to two months, what you do, you sort them. Sorting like I've done a video on that is by weight or by size, depending on you. So you grade them according to how bigger big they are the ones that are related by the size grade them in one point and the other ones grade them in another point so the first set that we get to this one kg are the bigger ones then within the next couple of weeks the other ones will follow that's why i say between three and a half months you are going to record your one kg per fish at least if you did this thing i said now almost 50 percent or more than that will be on one kg then in another three weeks, you record about like something percent. So this is what you're going to do. And you achieve one kg target on three and a half months using 500 juveniles. Now, here is the question. Some people may ask me, how possible can this be? Please, like I said, do exactly the way I have run down this and you will achieve this result. Now, some people will ask me, what are the other sizes of feed they will buy? Okay, if you are going to, let me just do this one, a quick one. On this particular channel, I have best feed sizes for your fishes. Now, if you are listening to me now, 1.8 after you change to 2 mm. You give your fishes 2 mm until the end of their second month. The first day of their third month, switch 
to 3 mm. First day of their third month switch to 3 mm. First day of their fourth month switch to 4 mm. This is what you need. So if there are any other things that you want to do, because I've seen people giving 6 mm at two months, that's your own problem. That's not what I said you should do. So if you do this thing that I said you should do, you are going to achieve good success. And if for any reason something goes wrong, please don't hesitate to tell me and we're going to fix it. So if you have any question on this, kindly use the comment section. And until I come your way next time, I remain your snow okay of Let Us Farm. Keep farming. It's a way of life.